So right now, it's uh, Women's History Month all across the world, and last month was Black History Month, and as you know, I uh, have the share channel with Timothy Hikes, my friend and fellow designer. One of the things that we really want to use our share channel to do is highlight uh, different facets of being black and being designers. And so on my channel and on uh, that share channel this month, I'll be talking a little bit about my own experiences as a black woman designer and also highlighting some of the black women who I really admire and who I think you should be on the lookout for who are also designers in the United States. And so uh, this video is one that will be a companion piece to another video on that channel. So be sure to uh, go over to the DNTM channel, subscribe now, watch our old videos, leave some comments, some sh share some stories, and stay tuned for uh, that video. I'll be wearing the same exact shirt so you know which one it will be. But let's hop into this one. So yes, as a woman designer, there have definitely been lots of challenges and at the same time I feel like because I'm, I am a black woman there have been a lot of opportunities that I have earned that allow me to be a voice and an usher and a shepherd for bringing other people of color and other practitioners into the design world and advancing uh, our platforms and opportunities for, for change making. And so with that in mind, I think the challenges have really been about combating and standing up to uh, the status quo of people who are in leadership at firms who like for whatever reasons don't understand the context and the, um, the challenges and, and beauties and expertise of everyday people within communities that we've worked in. And so combating that um, male ego and privilege, like white privilege and sometimes ignorance, like cultural ignorance, um, that has definitely been a challenge for me. Oftentimes I become the educator who has to wear the, the pressure and the load of representing a voice for other black people. And so as a black woman, I'm constantly fighting for my individual voice and for having my unique uh, existence in, in the field. Uh, because they, they group us and they lump us and they confuse us all together. I think that is often one of the challenges with uh, speaking, being a public speaker in the design field, oftentimes it's been a, a notion of advocating for other women and other people of color to be on judging panels, on uh, speakers and, and conference panels, to be other keynotes and workshop facilitators. Um, I think as well the third thing with being black or the third challenge with being a black woman designer has often been that companies and partners uh, seek us to be the community engagers of, of projects when we have all of these other skills, we have all of these other capabilities that we can add to a team and to the process of a project. And so I think being pigeonholed into um, this one area so often makes me hyper aware of the social issues and uh, the fears and the uh, complexities and the insecurities that other designers might carry into practice with them that they turn to us all the time to be the community engagers. Uh, but I, I think as a black woman, there's also been so many uh, great benefits that I've been able to contribute as a designer. It is easy to shine. Like that is one simple, simple thing. I'm, I look a, a very particular way and um, it's standing out in the design field has been a little bit easier uh, because of that. I, I think as well, the very nature of being who we are and as magical as we are, there are uh, contributions that we add that would be missing from projects and processes otherwise. And so I think that is, you know, what makes me excited about being a black woman designer. I think that the shifting of culture right now um, also is opening up a lot of opportunities for black creators, black women, black directors to really shine and step up. And I, I think I'm thankful for women like Issa Rae and Ava DuVernay and um, 
you know, Ashley Axios who are paving some of these pathways so that other young designers and creators can really have some precedent. So yeah, I, I think those would be some of the benefits, some of the, the things that I've experienced. I, I think the community of black women in design, I like it. I, I don't know about other black women, but I feel like from my POV, the other black women that I know in the design field are hyper supportive. Um, we're constantly helping each other access new opportunities and sharing ideas. And I really appreciate that. I, I, I think that oftentimes I feel like a unicorn because I'm not like other women. I'm just very different. I'm very nerdy and innocent and, and stuff. Like, I feel very welcomed and supported by fellow designers of color because of that. And so I'm grateful. And I, I want to know in the comments below, especially if you are a woman, uh, a black woman in design, what have been some of your experiences? What have been some of the challenges? What are pathways forward that you uh, see for us? What are the other ways that we can stay connected and continue to support each other's paths? And um, yeah. All of those types of questions, leave them in the comments, let me know, and of course, as always, subscribe to this channel for more content, let me know if there's other ideas that you want to hear me talk about, and like this video if you thought it was helpful, if, it, if anything resonated with you, and stay tuned for more.